Hello, Kamatuklas! Welcome back sa isa na namang pagtuklas ng aralin sa mathematics. Look at the expressions. If we're going to expand them, the result will be like this. That is what we called perfect squared trinomial, which has something to do with our discussion, which is all about factoring the perfect squared trinomial. the perfect square trinomial, ang una natin dapat malaman ay perfect square trinomial ba ang given expression. So, let us try to see. Alamin muna natin kung paano malalaman kung perfect square trinomial ang expression. Like this. x to the second plus 14x plus 49. Para malaman natin kung perfect square trinomial ang given, Titignan natin ang first term which is x to the second and the last term or the third term which is 49. Kukunin natin ang square root noon. So kung titignan natin ang x squared, ano ang square root nito? So ang square root niyan ay x. Kasi x times x is x to the second. Then the third term. So kukunin mo din ang square root niyan. At ang square root ng 49 ay 7. Kasi 7 times 7, 49. Hence, pag tinimes mo, x times 7, that will be 7x. At kapag na-times ito sa 2 or de novo, 7x times 2, that will be 14x. So kung tumama siya sa middle term, hence, x to the second plus 14x plus 49 is a perfect square trinomial. Tsaka pa lamang natin pwedeng sabihin na gagamitin natin ang factoring the perfect square trinomial. So, simulan na natin alamin ang factor ng same given, which is x to the second plus 14x plus 49. So, para makuha natin ang factor niya, alamin muna natin ang steps. First step is to get the square root of the first and the last term. Ito yung ginawa natin kanina. Kinuha natin ang square root ng x squared at 49. Kasi yun ang first at last term o third term. Okay, ang sagot natin kanina ay x sa 49 ay 7. Second step, list down the square root as the sum or difference of the two terms as the case may be. So, depende yan sa sign ng second term. Kung ang second term may plus, so, plus din yung gagamitin natin sa factor. Kung minus, to minus din doon sa factor. So, let's proceed. So, dahil nakuha na natin ito at nakuha na natin ito kanina, so, ito na yung magiging factor mismo noon. Itong x, ilalagay natin doon. Okay? So, dito tayo kukuha ng sign. So, sum tayo. Then, itong 7, ilalagay natin doon. Therefore, x to the second plus 14x plus 49, the factor is the quantity x plus 7 to the second. Or, ibig sabihin ng nito, quantity x plus 7 times the quantity x plus 7. Okay? Let's proceed with the second one. Let's have x to the second minus 12x plus 36. So, alamin natin kung perfect square trinomial. So, titignan natin ang first and last term. So, first term is x squared. So, syempre, that is x. Last term or third term, 36. Square root ng 36 is 6. Multiply natin. x times 6 is 6x times 2. The answer is 12x, which is correct already here. Hence, kukunin na natin ang sum or difference. Difference tayo kasi minus ang second term. So, equals. So, ito yung ilalagay natin doon. Then, minus tayo. Okay, then, itong 6, copy natin. 
Okay, therefore, the factor of x squared minus 12x plus 36 is equal to the quantity x minus 6 squared or quantity x minus 6 times the quantity x minus 6. Let's have another one. How about 9x to the second plus 30x plus 25? First term, last term, square root ng 9 ay 3, at ang square root ng x squared ay x. Therefore, ang square root ng 9x squared ay 3x. Square root ng 25 ay 5. So, pwede na natin i-times 3x times 5, that is 15x times 2. 30x. So, ibig sabihin, perfect squared trinomial na to. So, pwede na natin kunin ang factor. So, ang factor niya ay sum. Kasi plus yung second term. So, kunin natin ito as the first factor. Sum tayo. Then, plus 5. Okay, therefore, the factor of 9x to the second plus 30x plus 25 is the quantity 3x plus 5 squared or quantity 3x plus 5 times the quantity 3x plus 5. Let's have the next one. How about this example? 36x squared minus 96xy plus 64y squared. First term is 36x squared and second term is 64y squared. The square root ng 36x squared. Square root ng 36 ay 6. Square root ng x square root ng x squared i x. So, we have 6x here. On the other hand, square root ng 64 i 8, square root ng y squared i y. So, 8y tayo. Then, multiply natin ng 6x times 8y. The answer is 48x times 2, 96x to y. So, ibig sabihin, tama uli siya. So, syempre, minus tayo dito sa middle term. So, dun tayo sa difference. So, ngayon, kunin na natin ang factor. Yan. So, we have this 6x. Copy natin. Minus. Then, add 8. 8y. So, the factor of 36x squared minus 96xy plus 64y squared is the quantity 6x minus 8y squared. So, ayun. Naget natin. Try natin kung ano ang natutunan nyo by answering this. I will be giving you 10 seconds to answer this. x to the second plus 28x plus 196. The time start now. Time is up. Ano kaya ang sagot nyo? Tama ba kayo? Kung ito ang sagot nyo, which is quantity x plus 14 squared, you are correct. Check natin kung tama. 14 times 14, that's 196. 14 plus 14 or 14 times 228. Tama yun doon. x squared na tayo dito kasi x times x. Okay, let's have the next one. How about this one? 25x to the second minus 10xy plus y squared. In 10 seconds, the time start now. Time is up. Ano kaya ang inyong sagot? So, kung ito yung sagot nyo, you are correct. So, quantity 5x minus y to the second. So, I hope natuto tayong mag-factoring the perfect squared trinomial kamato class. God bless us.